My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Mita. And if you are new to my channel, girl, comment down below and say hello. Hi. <laughs> and I'll be sure to comment back, guys. I try to comment back to as many of you as I freaking possibly can. And usually I'm pretty good at it, okay? So comment down below. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> so, guys, if you like my content, please hit that subscribe button, guys. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload. And if you like this video, hit that like button, guys. Definitely. Or hit that dislike button. Engagement is engagement, and I invite it all, okay? Okay, let's get right into this video, girl. So today, guys, I have the real, I don't know if uh, for my OG subscribers, uh, do you guys remember when I used to do the uh, real versus fake uh, palette reviews? So guys, I have been sitting on this for a while. As most of you know, I didn't have my phone, so I wasn't able to record videos, but I definitely wanted to get this out there. And um, this is really good because it lets you guys know what to look for when purchasing um, real makeup online, especially on eBay. A lot of times some of these palettes come out and they're limited edition and people sell them online, but you never know if they're real or fake. So these really help people out to either know if they're good quality and they can just buy the fake one or to be aware of um, fake. So stuff. these are the two palettes right here, guys. Can you guys tell, comment down below and tell me, is the one on your left side fake? Or is the one on your right side fake? Comment down below, which palette do you think is fake? Okay? Okay. So now pause the video, go down below and comment, and then unpause and I will tell you. So guys, this is the real palette on my right. This is the fake palette on my left. Now there are many ways that you can tell this. Just by looking at it, you can see that the top palette has a gleam that is coming off, kind of like a very shiny gleam as the bottom is matte and not shiny at all okay also the back is a dead giveaway we have all the information on the real one the fake one doesn't have any information whatsoever also looking at these from the side view the real one is thicker than the fake one okay so I can show you from side to side so the real one is thicker as you can see than the fake one on the left now let's open these boxes up now guys this is a backup huda beauty palette that i have i liked the huda beauty so much this is my um this is the palette i will be swatching which is my personal palette and then of course i bought a backup palette i'm going to open the new one just so that you can see the differences but i will be swatching my opened already huda beauty palette so now opening these puppies up Let's put them side by side. You can see that the real one is reflecting as the fake one is very matte and it's not really reflecting. Only the words are reflecting and they're actually reflecting more than the real words do reflect. So just keep that in mind, guys. And she's more tanner in the real palette versus this palette kind of just straight up looks like a cheap printout. Okay, now moving on to the back, guys. If you can tell the real Huda Beauty palette, the text is elongated as the fake Huda Beauty palette is cut off halfway on the back. You guys see that? So that's a dead giveaway. I don't think we have to go more into the back for the simple fact that right there you can tell the fake from the real one. Okay? Now opening this puppy up in the real Huda Beauty palette, we have the mirror. We have this nice thick plastic and here are the shades now let's see the fake Huda Beauty so the fake Huda Beauty does not have the same plastic it has just a plain plastic in there as you can see and the colors are completely completely different guys like come on that is just a straight up dead giveaway this is the fake one this is the real one i mean they do sort of come close but not really these are more vibrant as these are more muted and just uh darker just overall so if you guys can see that so i will be swatching the fake huda beauty on my right and the real one on my left so let's go ahead and do the real huda beauty first and then i will go into the uh fake huda beauty so I'm just going to put my backup Huda Beauty 
to the side in the box and I'm going to take my Huda Beauty which is the one that I already have open if you can see I have already used this palette to filth girl I love this desert dust palette this is a look I did using this palette stick on stick on bot <laughs> what you say what what you say so guys yes I absolutely love this palette but stick to the end so you guys can see how I got this makeup look using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. So let's start with going into the real palette first. We're gonna start with Desert Sand. And that is Desert Sand. And we're gonna start with Musk. And I believe I do have a review on this palette. I will see if I will put it here. So if you guys wanna check out my review on this palette, you can. Next is called Eden, and this feels really, really gritty. These shades are extremely pigmented. I love this palette. When I first got it, I said, I need another one. And that is Amber. Then we have Blood Moon. And this is a very creamy kind of sheen color. Looks foiled. Feels foiled, too. Um, next is Ode. I think that's how you pronounce it. O-U-D. And today, guys, I am not wearing foundation, so keep that in mind. With foundation and highlight, it really will amp this look up. But today I am not. I am giving my face a little break, okay? Next, we have Celestial. So let's just give that another go. Celestial doesn't... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I didn't get enough product on my finger. So that is Celestial. Very soft. Uh, next is Nefertiti. Nefertiti. This is more of like a glitter shade. Very pretty. As you can see, the specks of glitter in there. Next is Twilight. And this is what I have all over my lid today. And we have seen this shade, guys, time and time again. In different palettes, I mean. Amethyst feels very grainy as well. These are the shades. This palette, guys, they knocked this palette out the park. Huda knocked this palette out the freaking park. Next is called Royal. That's what that looks like. This palette was just everything to me. Um, next is called Retrograde. And this one, for some reason, these shimmers, you got to... You got to um, put them on twice or more to get that intensity. So I'm going to just put it on again because I just want you guys to see the colors. Um, next is called Cashmere. There you go. Some of them are fine, but some of them you have to take like a double take. Next is Angelic. This one's kind of a little hard in the pan. Angelic. That's what that looks like. And the next one is Cosmo. And this is a true just um, pressed glitter. So I don't know if I really, if we can swatch this. So we got to pat. Yeah, we're going to have to pat this thing, guys, because the swatch isn't going to work. It's a glitter. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Next is called <sighs> Turkish Delight. Ooh, that's beautiful. Next is called Saffron, another grainy kind of feeling eyeshadow. But they swatch really well. They also perform good on the lid. Next is called Blazing, and Blazing is also feels kind of grainy. And this is another one of my favorite eyeshadows. I also use this one today. Let's see if we can fit it anywhere else. Huh? Elbow it is. There we go. Got that orange there. So now I'm just going to come up close and show you guys what we get. These are the shades from the Desert Dust Palette. La 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 from far. And now we are going to go into the fake 
Desert Dust palette. So, going into Desert Sand. Um, okay. Next is Musk. Um, <laughs> all right. Next is Eden. That one's not so bad. Next is Amber. And these don't actually don't feel grainy at all. They actually feel pretty soft, which is kind of weird. Okay, Amber is really pretty. Let's uh, compare these so far. Amber is the only one that's really off. The other two seem to be on, but not as good formulation. Next is called Blue Moon. Blue Moon, like so. Next is called Ode. Let's just put them together and see. Those are off. Like the, the last three are pretty off. Um, next is called Celestial. That's off. Next is called Nerfertiti. Nerfertiti? I don't know, girl. I'm trying. I gotta get an E for effort. E for effort, Miss Thing. Look at that one. Let's see. Nope. I actually like that one better than the other one. <sighs> that happens sometimes, right? Right? Next is called Twilight Girl, and this thing just like literally slid right out the pot like crazy. Look at how. I had to press it back in and I literally did not go in there that hard oh this is pretty this is like a violet that's really pretty it's not dual chrome but it is shiny so yeah kudos for that one next is called amethyst and this one seems more vibrant than the purple and the desert dust palette or not hold on mm -hmm. it's brighter than the actual desert dust uh color next is called royal close i mean they are close i'm not gonna say they're not close they are close but <sighs> they're not the actual shades you know what i mean like they're not the actual shades. Next, we have retrograde. Uh oh. And that is way off, girl. I'm sorry. This is gray. Next is cashmere. And these shimmers in the fake palette, they're very soft. So, let's see. Yeah, those are off. Those are way off. Next is supposed to be a glitter. Uh, no, next is angelic. Well, damn. Yeah, these don't even have all the same colors. Like, these are missing. That's crazy. That angelic does not match the other angelic at all. And then this one is supposed to be a glitter shade, Cosmo. But this one isn't. It's really creamy, though. I got to give them that. It's very creamy. But this is Cosmo. But Cosmo looks like it matches that one a little. Don't know. But it's not. Next is called Turkish Delight. Now I'm going to start going on the inside. Oh no, I'll just put it here so I can match them up at the end. That one's pretty. Turkish Delight. I'm going to just go over it again. That's a pretty color. Next is called Saffron. And this is like a true ass red. 
I really don't understand that. There are no reds here. Like, that is not red. So weird. And it looks like it's staining my finger, guys. Next is called Blazing. And this looks like a true freaking orange. Okay, guys. So, let's look at these up close. Those do not match. Like, they get further and further away from each other. When they start off, they start off pretty good. And then they just kind of go their separate ways. Like, that is crazy. But, I mean, they did come close to it. Gotta give them that, guys. So, I'm gonna show you up close the fake ones. And then, I'm going to show you the real ones. Look at that pigment. Look at that formulation. Ten times better, guys. Ten times better. Okay, guys, well, you have seen the real versus the fake. Now, another thing um, that you guys can notice from the inside of the fake palette is it doesn't have Huda Beauty on the mirror as the real one does say Huda Beauty at the bottom right there. It says Huda Beauty. So the fake one does not have that one. So that's a dead giveaway. So, just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Also, the packaging is a lot cheaper than the actual real Huda Beauty palette. So, definitely keep that in mind. And, guys, be safe when purchasing fake makeup. I hope you guys don't get scammed. And that's why I love to do these videos. If I can help anybody out and prevent them from being scammed online, I will. And uh, stay safe. And, uh, and I wish you luck on purchasing your Huda Beauty palette online don't get scammed ma'am 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 <laughs> john claude van damme no <laughs> if you guys want to see how i got this makeup look just keep on watching hey guys welcome to my face <laughs> so today guys i wanted to do an inspired look by the desert dust paleta now i will be using the desert dust palette so you guys know this is the look that i came up with so I will be showing you how to get this look. So the first thing I'm going into is desert sand. And I'm just going to put this up here, guys, on the brow bone. Next, I am going into blazing. And this is kind of like an orangey, burnt orange kind of color. I'm going to put that right underneath that last shade. Kind of just going up with my brush a little just to kind of fade that in. Now I'm going to go over that color again just to get some pigment to get some nice color in there. Now I'm going to go into amethyst and this is like a kind of purpley shade and I'm going to go underneath that orange that I put that burnt orange and then as I go losing pigment on my brush I'm gonna go blending upward into that orange kind of like that now we're gonna take a flat brush 
and we're going to go into twilight and we're going to put this on the entire lid kind of carving it out like if you were doing a cut crease but don't worry because if the line isn't perfect it is a okay because we're going to cut it with glitter anyways so it will cut that crease out for you So now I'm just cutting the end like that. Like so, so this is a beautiful look in itself. If you want, you can just blend in that crease with the um, with the amethyst, and you will have a nice, beautiful look. However, of course, I'm gotta be extra <laughs> always. So now, guys, taking my smolder potion and mixing it with my BH Cosmetics Glitter in Royal Purple. What I do is I put some glitter in the cap and then I put about one or two drops of Smolder Potion and it makes the glitter so much easier to apply. Like seriously, a whole lot. Makes my life so much easier. Now with a glitter brush I'm going to start from the inner corner just kind of going up going back in for more product and you just want to feather that glitter in there you don't want to press down too hard because then you're going to get like too much glitter and it's going to come out too thick and you don't want that my glitter is drying out so i'm going to put some more smolder potion the smolder potion dries out very fast so i have to keep adding along the way but it also dries very fast so i don't have to worry about glitter transfer on my eye i'm gonna go back I am going to go into my liquid liner and I'm going to line the top of my eyelid. So there's the wing. Now we're going to go back into that smolder potion and glitter. And I am going to start glittering the bottom portion right above my eyelash line. So right here, hold on, that's a lot of glitter. Just be sure not to have too much product on the front of your brush. I am going to grab some liner. This is the Marc Jacobs liner in black, I believe. I don't know, does it have the name on here? black yes black and i'm gonna put some liner and then i'm going to get a like kind of flat brush like this and i'm just gonna blend that out okay so now i'm gonna grab the shade amethyst and i'm gonna go underneath my eye Just kind of blend that into that black there. We are going to take some rhinestones and pop those puppies in each tip on the corner. There we go. So you see, you got your two rhinestones right there. And then guys, we're gonna go into the inner corner with a small art brush that I got in Michael. Okay guys, so I feel like I want more pop in that inner corner. So I'm going in with the Artist Couture in the shade Supernova.
and now with the Rihanna highlighting stick and confetti. I did not put on foundation today, guys, or highlight. I just wanted to do a quick look for you guys. I usually don't do looks on the real versus fake, but I really would want it. I love this palette, so I was really inspired to do a look for you guys. And this, as you can see, guys, this glow is, like, seriously crazy. Let's get some lipstick. Let's go a little crazy. Why not? I'm going to use my matte lipstick Midnight Troll. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys and just going through the eyeshadows. And if I can help any of you out out there, I love to do so. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Remember, tomorrow is hair day, and we will be doing a hair video. See you guys then. Love you so much. Mwah. Bye. Hey, you. Yeah, you.